Good evening everyone. This is Rishali. Previously we discussed about concurrency problems and concurrency control with examples in part 1. I have mentioned complete database management system playlist link in below description box. Now in today's session we will discuss about the next important topic that is log based protocol. Here we will discuss shared and exclusive log with examples. So let's start the session. In this channel you will get a complete point wise easy explanation, practical demo and question bank of following subjects. Please like and share this videos with your friends and subscribe the channel. So you will get the notification regarding my new coming videos. Now in this session we will discuss about concurrency control, log based protocols, shared and exclusive log with examples and log compatibility matrix. So let's see one by one. Now the first point is what exactly concurrency and concurrency control. See there is only one database. So multiple users, multiple transactions have performed at the same time at the same data item in the database. This is called as concurrency and due to this multiple transactions perform at the same time some problems have occurred like lost update problem, dirty read problem and unrepeatable read problem. We already discussed all this concurrency problem in previous video that is part 1. I have mentioned the link of this video in below description box. So to solve all this concurrency problems we will require concurrency control protocol. This concurrency control protocol divided into the two types log based protocol and timestamp based protocol. Here in part 2 we will discuss about log based protocol and their types shared and exclusive log. So this all concurrency control protocol maintain the consistency in database. They maintain the accuracy and valid information in the database. All this concurrency control protocol follow acid properties like atomicity, consistency, isolation and durability. That's why it maintain the consistency in database. Next. Now the first type of concurrency protocol is log based protocol. See. Log based protocol is very much important in concurrency control management. When multiple transactions perform at the same time on same database at the same data item. At that time it maintain the consistency of database. How? See, suppose there is a one transaction perform read and write operation. So at that time another transaction can't perform any operation on it. And suppose one transaction perform the read operation. So at the another transaction perform read operation on it not a write operation. This is a concept. I will explain this concept with examples. First understand what exactly log. So log is one kind of data variable that is built in variable which already associated with data item and it perform the operations on data item like log of A. So A is a data item and then log the operation in this way. This all log requests are handled by the concurrency control manager. Let's take one real life example. See in traffic light signal. In traffic light signal there are total three signals like red, yellow and green. When there is a red signal it means stop. Green signal means go. So when one signal is there at a time so other signals are log. Right? When red signal is there yellow and green signals are log. So this is called as log based protocol and this same concept will be mentioned in database transaction. That's why it maintain the consistency in database. So let's see how it maintain the consistency. Now see here this is the first type of log based protocol that is shared log which is also called as read only log. The concept of shared log is when one transaction perform the read operation at that time all the another transaction perform the only read operation not a write operation. This is a concept. Let's see. Suppose in this example this is a schedule as schedule means collections of transaction. There is a T1 and T2 transaction. So T1 perform the read operation on the database like read of A. They read the value A equal to 100. So they lock that particular operation. How? See here. They started lock S of A. A is a data item. S means shirt lock and log is a variable. After that they read the particular value. So at the same time 
टी टू टी थ्री टी फोर टी फाइव ऑल दी अदर ट्रांजेक्शन परफॉर्म ओनली रीड ऑपरेशन दे कान चेंज दर वैल्यू बिकॉज टी वन परफॉर्म द रीड ऑपरेशन एंड दे लॉक इट राइट सो आफ्टर रीडिंग द पर्टिक्युलर वैल्यू दे अनलॉक एस ऑफ ए सो आफ्टर अनलॉक ओनली रिमेनिंग ट्रांजेक्शन कैन परफॉर्म द राइट ऑपरेशन और दे अपडेट द वैल्यू और चेंज द वैल्यू सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज शर्ट लॉक दैट्स वाई इट मेंटेन द कंसिस्टेंसी इन डेटाबेस Suppose T1 val read the value a equal to 100 and T2 change their value that is a equal to 50. So this is a concurrency problem, right? So this concurrency problem have solved by the shared log. Clear? Next. Now the second type of log based protocol is exclusive log. The concept of exclusive log is when T1 transaction perform read and write operation at that time T2 transaction can't perform any operation. After T1 transaction is complete, then only T2 transaction perform the particular operation. This is the concept. Let's see here. Here T1 and T2 transaction. So first T1 transaction perform read A that is A equal to 100 from the database. Then A is equal to A plus 50. 100 plus 50 is equal to 150. And write of A means they update the information in database. So basically T1 perform read and write operation. So this is called as exclusive log. So they start with log x. X indicate exclusive log. A means data item. So log x of A. They perform read write operation, and after performing their operation, they unlock x of A. So after only unlock, another transaction perform the read write operation. Right? Means one transaction have completely perform. After that, another transaction have perform. So it maintain the consistency in database. No other transaction simultaneously perform on database and change the values, right? So, this is a concept. Next. Now see here. This is a log compatibility matrix. See here in this particular matrix that is shared and exclusive log. Shared log means perform only read operation in the log, and exclusive log means perform read write operation in the log. So. When one transaction perform the shared log, means one transaction perform the read operation, at the time another transaction that is shared log perform the read operation, right? That's why there is a yes. But when one transaction perform the shared operation, like read operation, so another another exclusive operation, exclusive log can't perform any operation because exclusive log perform read and write operation on it, right? Suppose exclusive log is there, they perform read write operation. So shared log can't perform another transaction can't perform read operation and another transaction can't perform write operation. So this is called as log compatibility matrix. Is it clear? So what exactly concept? Shared log perform read operation. When T1 transaction perform the read operation, T2, T3, T4, all the other transaction perform only read operation, not a write operation. And exclusive log means when T1 perform read and write operation. So at that time, T2, T3, T4, they didn't perform any operation on it. After completing T1, then only they can perform the operation. Clear? So this is called a shared and exclusive log. Hope so. That will be understand to everyone. Thank you. Keep practicing.